Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for coming and joining us here at uh, our second forum in Zurich. It's uh, my pleasure to uh, welcome you to this beautiful city, to our university here, and also to our society and uh, with a distinguished panel of speakers and and uh, guest and host, so I want to thank you all for making a visit. Today's agenda, this morning's agenda, starts with a welcome, and we follow that with four different keynotes. These keynotes, uh, actually, I will talk, start by what are the global transformation, kind of set the scene for what is happening around the world. Uh, we have the pleasure of uh, having uh, Chris Manser from Swiss Life Infrastructure. Um, we had in a program Mr. Nani Bakali, but he had a family emergency, so Chris was, uh, we're, we're delighted that he was available in short notice to talk about the view of investment for, um, in infrastructure. What are the, how do we view this? How, how does an investor views when they assess a, an investment, be it in a power plant or an airport. Next, uh, we have uh, Dr. Alan Epstein from Pratt & Whitney United Technologies, talk about aircraft propulsion in focus. And um, finally, we have uh, Dr. Stefan Florencek, the CTO of uh, Ansaldo Energia, Talk about power generation in focus. Now, I've asked this gentleman here to tell us what they think also, not just what is, you know, what, uh, what is viewed out there, but also a kind of a more pragmatic, what is, where is the world going from their point of view. So we, I personally very much look forward to hearing what we have, what we have this morning. Then we will have an award ceremony, and Klaus Brun, the chair of awards committee, will, will host that. Now, GPPS was established just about a year and a half ago. It's a global not-for-profit volunteer organization. We have an open tent approach. It means we are not really putting limits or boundaries on anyone. We are inviting everyone to attend if they can and if they want. This is a place for dialogue. We are meeting industry, academic, and research institutions together. And the purpose is to promote science, engineering, technology development for the society. And my talk, I will try to also talk a little bit about where that comes in on a global sense. In, in addition, we need to be reactive to the changes that goes on around the world. It's not just a place where we present papers that the work we did a few years ago, but where do we want to see where things are going in the future? How do we react to what is coming? We want to improve quality and Deal with complexity. You know, as a, as, a, as a graduate student, often you're told you take a big problem and you simplify it, try to solve it. The world, and I learned as I grew older, that the world remains the same. You still have a lot of complexity. You have to simplify, try to solve it. Part of what we try to do is bring that breakdown of a complexity so we can try to at least address them. And it's also where technology, markets, and finance intermingle. They provide boundary condition for each other. It's not, they're not independent of each other. Last year, we had uh, two conferences, one in Zurich, our inaugural, plus a conference in Shanghai, very successful. Uh, we have the Forum 2018 this year, and in Montreal, we have uh, really uh, a technical conference. So the forum is the place where we have panels and discussions and thought leaders, and our technical conferences are where we focus on technical presentations and where the state of the art is presented. 
Next year, it will be back here again, 14th to 16th of January, and we are discussing where the technical conference will be the following year. Just a quick uh, update of what have we achieved. We launched our journal. We have an open access journal now for publication. Uh, we already have uh, 20 plus papers that have been published over the last few months. We have an outreach and membership program. And uh, something that I'm going to just announce, you will hear more about it tomorrow. We want to establish working groups to consider global issues that bring technology, economy, and policy together in areas such as aviation, power generation, oil, gas, industrial sector. So these are the application plus environmental factors, disruptive technologies, and role of academia in research. The purpose of these working groups is to come up with a consensus white paper that looks at the holistic aspect of each one of these sectors for us to further discuss in the following year.